It is my great pleasure to share with you today the latest research from our group on modeling and stiffness-based continuous torque control of quasi-direct drive knee exoskeletons for walking assistance. I would like to start with an overview of the main contributions of this paper and the high-performance knee exoskeleton. The main contributions are one, the stiffness modeling of torque-controlled quasi-direct drive exoskeletons, and two, a stiffness-based continuous torque controller the estimated knee joint moment in real time. These two videos show the high performance exoskeleton in overground and treadmill walking and highlight that the device is lightweight, compliant, and has high control bandwidth. So our first main contribution was modeling of the stiffness torque control for our quasi-direct drive exoskeleton. We first developed a unified model that captured the dynamics of the motor, transmission, and wearable structure. Using this dynamic model, we were able to understand the properties of different actuation paradigms. As shown in this figure, the stiffness control achieved the desired dynamic stiffness of the exoskeleton by generating the torque reference tau r in response to the input of the human knee angle theta h. The output was the exoskeleton assistive torque tau a applied at the human knee. The second contribution of this paper was the stiffness-based continuous torque control. The objectives were to A, design methods for computationally efficient control laws that were adaptive to human movement, and B, to estimate the joint torque for real-time synchronized control, ensuring that the robot torque will always be synchronized with biological torque. We looked at the knee angle moment relationship in walking as shown in this figure, and found that joint moment during walking can be approximated by two stiffness models, one during stance phase and the other during swing phase. One important caveat of the control is that it is not trivial to determine the optimal transition between stance and swing phase. We therefore developed nonlinear optimization methods to identify the optimal hyperplane to separate the two gate phases. This optimizer was able to find the optimal parameters to segment stance and swing by minimizing the error between estimated torque and the biological torque from a reference data set. Using this reference data set of people walking at different speeds, we validated that the torque estimation methods is highly accurate and the generated torque profiles are continuous. In the figures, the solid line represent the actual biological knee moment and the dashed line represent our estimated torque. The left column of figures have knee angle on the x-axis and knee moment on the y-axis. The right column figures have gait cycle on the x-axis and knee moment on the y-axis. The figure shows our estimated knee torque closely follows the actual knee moment across walking speeds. In our robot experiments, we investigated the back drivability of the knee exoskeleton in the unpowered mode. The maximum back drive torque was approximately 0.22 newton meters which was substantially better than some state-of-the-art results of 8.5 newton meters. The exoskeleton is required to provide both low stiffness and high stiffness control, as the human knee joint exhibits high stiffness in the stance phase, but low stiffness in the swing phase. This experiment illustrated our exoskeleton could track well in both low and high stiffness conditions. In this experiment, we tested the torque and stiffness bandwidth of our quasi-direct drive exoskeleton. These results showed that our quasi-direct drive actuator could achieve stiffness-based torque control in real time, and the high control bandwidth demonstrated the ability of our exoskeleton to handle dynamic and com complex human movement patterns. Finally, we will look at the human experiments. We first tested the ability of the controller to output a continuous torque signal when a single subject was walking at a non-steady speed. We then validated the controller with eight able-bodied subjects during treadmill walking at 1.25 meters per second. For this, we implemented a two-session protocol design with the first visit for habituation and the second for data collection. We evaluated the effect of the exoskeleton in three conditions, powered with the exoskeleton outputting 30% of estimated biological torque, unpowered with the exoskeleton turned off and baseline with no exoskeleton. The video shows a participant walking with the device and some of the data recorded. In the single subject experiment, we found the gait cycle duration decreased as the treadmill velocity changed from 0.8 to 1.5 meters per second. 
The control adapted to the changing speed and generated a continuous knee moment. This is because the control uses knee angle to estimate knee moment and is not relying on gait phase estimation. Looking at the results of our eight subject study, we found the torque profile generated by the stiffness-based continuous torque controller was similar to the biological knee joint moment. The experimental results demonstrated the capacity of our system to track the desired torque at corresponding joint angles using our novel controller. Our experiment also demonstrated that the knee kinematics were similar between exoskeleton conditions. Our experimental results with eight able-bodied subjects demonstrated that muscle activity was generally reduced with the exoskeleton power compa powered compared to unpowered. We also found some reduction in muscle activity of knee extensors between baseline and powered exoskeleton conditions. I hope that you found uh, this video helpful and thank you for your interest. Have a wonderful day.